Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you haven't heard already, it is official. Microsoft has started to roll out the Windows 11 2022 feature update, also known as version 22H2. And as suggested, that was on the 20th of September, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, if we just head over to the Windows update page, as many of you will know, the update will appear in this section um, on the Windows update page. And uh, if you are not seeing the update at first, you can always seek and check for updates. And um, if the update is available for your device, um, this will force the update um, onto your machine. Now, um, if you are like me and are not seeing the update, even after you have uh, seeked and checked for updates, then as mentioned previously, there are a couple of reasons why um, you are not seeing the update um, straight away. Now, um, as mentioned, Microsoft uses a controlled phased staggered rollout and approach. And um, there's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, um, they are known to push the feature updates out to newer devices with newer hardware at first. Uh, it's region specific. They don't push the update out to all regions um, at the same time. There could be a safeguard hold on your device, meaning there could be an app and or a driver that could cause possible problems with the update. So um, Microsoft will put a safeguard hold on your device until those issues are resolved and then they will release the update to uh, your machine. And also they want to monitor the update. So um, um, they will obviously want to see how um, smooth and stable the update rolls out at first and as that progressively does roll out and everything is okay then um, they will start pushing the update out to more devices over the next coming days heading towards the end of this month into October and November and um, another reason is they don't want their servers to get overloaded with too many machines getting updated all at once and that's also um, to have a smooth and stable rollout of the feature update. Now um, if you are seeing the update already on your device, um, then it's an optional update, as many of you may know. So um, you don't have to install the update now. And the update is supported for 24 months. So you really have almost two years to install the update if you don't want to install it straight away. And um, what I would suggest, though, if you are seeing the update um, and there is no um, urgency to update to the latest uh, version 22H2 feature update, um, then just hold on for a while. Um, I would suggest holding on for the next couple of days, maybe the next week, even the next month, just to see how the update rolls out because there are always teething problems with feature updates, as many of you know. And um, maybe just hold on to the update. But if not, then you can just go ahead and download the update. And just take note, though, it is a feature update, so it's going to take a little bit longer to um, download and install um, than a normal monthly cumulative update. Now, with that all out the way, if we just head over to the um, download Windows 11 page, um, here we can see that this has also been updated to say the current release is now Windows 11 2022 update version 22H2. And um, um, if you are not seeing the update as mentioned, um, like I am not, and then you can come to this page, which I will leave a link to in the description um, for easy reference. Um, and you can use these three methods to download and force the update. The first being the Windows um, 11 installation um, assistant. That's the upgrade assistant, which I would suggest would be the, the next best option. Um, that's what I would suggest. Um, the, the Windows uh, media creation tool and the you can download the uh, ISO disk image. But this will mean a clean install. Now, using the update assistant will not mean a clean install. This, or your, your data will not be affected using this method. So I would suggest this, using the, uh, the update assistant as the next best approach. If you're not seeing the update and want to force the update. Now, I do suggest, though, as Microsoft does say uh, regarding Windows 10, if you are, are upgrading from Windows 10, they recommend that you wait until you are notified through Windows Update that the upgrade is ready for your PC. And that's obviously if your Windows 10 device meets the system requirements for Windows 11. And I, su I suggest the same approach if you are on Windows 11 and you are not seeing the update. Rather just wait until Microsoft does push it out to your device because that is the safest option for the, the most stable and smoothest um, kind of approach to the update being installed with the, the least amount of issues. Um, on your device. I would suggest waiting, but if you don't want to wait, then come over to this page, which I said I'll leave in the description, 
and you can use these three method these uh, three method methods to download and as mentioned i suggest using the update assistant which i'm going to use although i have suggested you wait if you're not seeing the update as yet um, I'm going to use this because obviously I need to get my device updated for the purposes of this channel so I can keep you in the loop and up to speed with the Windows 11 2022 update um, for the purposes of this channel and I'm going to get this installed as soon as possible using the update assistant and then hopefully I can get back to you later in the day as there are some other updates that have rolled out and then over the next coming days um, we can possibly take a deeper look into new features and you know all the little goodies that have rolled out in the Windows 11 2022 update. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.